Hey everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Hello, hello. Hopefully I'm streaming. Hello, TikTok. Hi, TikTok. Let's just make sure YouTube and Facebook are working. Hope everybody's well. I know I've been a little MIA. We've been very, very busy. I am live, sure am. Wonderful. Hello, hello, my peeps, hello. Hello again, TikTok. That one person watching on TikTok. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to put together this really cute um, lemon, welcome lemon. Look how cute this is. It's an embossed metal sign. Okay, super cute. Um, we're pairing it with this awesome, like a lime green mesh. So this, this is a kit. So you do get the ring board. We get, you get a full roll of the lime green mesh. We're only using half the roll, so you have another half to do another wreath if you want. Um, I, I do believe we actually have these signs that you can buy separately as well. Uh, you get this awesome black, uh, this, this black and white striped ribbon. It's really cool. Um, some kind of weave, but it's really cool. So you get that, and we got a lemon... Rib, uh, lemon ribbon with lime green uh, check. Really cute. Uh, you get this cute little uh, lemon slice spray. Uh, we do have uh, these in stock in the warehouse as well. If you want to add a couple more, but you do get one in the kit. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to use. And you get two of these these are foam. These are Eva foam uh, spray. I don't know what leaf it's called or anything, but it's pretty cool. So you get two of these and we're going to incorporate that um, all into our project. You also get your zip ties and of course your cable mounts and pipe cleaners for your sign. So you get it and your measuring tape in case you don't have a cutting mat. Hey everybody. Um, so let's get started. I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't crafted in quite a while. I, oh, I am adding, I didn't realize I had these till today. I love pips. Everybody knows Lori loves pips, right? So we have these pip sprays, black and white black and white pip sprays. Um, you're probably like, what is a pip? A pip is a little pip. See, a little pip. <laughs> See, that's why they're called pips. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to be incorporating some of the pip, black and white pip spray into mine. Now, you, I do have everything, all the skews and everything in the description of this live on Facebook and YouTube. Sorry, Instagram and TikTok. It doesn't allow us to do that. Um, but you can check it out <clears throat> on YouTube if you're not a Facebook user. Um, all the SKUs of, of what we're using. Okay. I am also, I wanted a little tiny pop of red. And what goes nicer in a nice fresh lemon wreath? ladybug so we have these little ladybugs um, you get there's a box you get a box of 12 I believe they are um, I have ladybugs all over the place because we put these in our uh, sunflower kits but um, you can buy the box of ladybugs I'm gonna put a few ladybugs in amongst not on my spray I know like I was, I was putting it on here but I'm not I was just showing you guys um, just for that little punch of um, some fun red in there and yeah because it's summer and summer is the dang ladybugs I don't know about you guys but here in Niagara Falls we get infested with them they're, they're they're cute on when they're on a wire like this they're not cute when they're like 
attacking your door. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So I, I've cut my mesh. I've already cut it because we're going to get this party started. I cut my mesh at 22 inches. Okay, we're going to need eight pieces of mesh of this mesh at 22 inches. So if you do not have a cutting mat, that is why you got an adhesible ruler. You can roll it out. All right, put the end of your mesh at the end of your ruler, and you're just gonna cut with your scissors at the 22 inch, okay? Eight of them, eight. So like I said, you have a, a whole half a roll of this left. So this will be great for a another wreath, or you can use, um, use them for curls in a, another project and stuff. Um, there's lots of stuff you can do with it, okay? So 22 inches, eight of them, all right? And ribbon. You're gonna have a lot of ribbon left over on, on with this kit because I'm gonna show you something cool we're gonna do. Um, I cut eight ribbons. Eight ribbons of the lemon at 14 inches. So again, you can, you can uh, roll, uh, roll it out cut it at 14 inches, okay? Or take your measure buddy and wrap it or pull the arm number one out all the way to the 14 inch mark and wrap it around for eight times. So one, two, three, okay? So you need eight at 14 inches of the lemon and you need eight at 14 inches of the black and white stripe, okay? eight and eight and then we're going to do eight pieces at 16 inches we're doing something different something something so what you're going to do is you're going to pull out arm number two and lock it in you'll see there's a 16 lock it in at 16 like that okay now from here to here is 16 inches so we're going to, I didn't cut these yet. So I'm gonna do, now it does come with a clip and everything. I never use the clips, hardly ever, but the clips are there that you would put right here and you can slide your ribbon in and roll and go around. I've used it so, for so, this one for so many years, I don't even know where my clip is. So I just hold it with my thumb. So this would be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? If you don't have a measure buddy, you can use your cutting mat or your ruler again for 16 inches. Best wreathing crafting tool ever. Measure buddy. My invention. <laughs> yes, it is actually truly my invention. <laughs> Patent and all. All right, we're gonna cut these right down like that. And we do not need to dovetail these 16 inch pieces, okay? Everybody, once they get a measure buddy, everybody's like, everybody loves the measure buddy. Some people buy two, because they're like me. Actually, I don't even know where my backup is. I usually have a backup, but. This one has literally been the original one that I, the first one that came off the line when we first made the measure bodies, I still have it. This thing has been chucked around my craft room. Like I literally just toss it over there and it's almost indestructible, like for real. So anyways, enough about that. So we got 16 or eight at 16 inches of the black and white. We got eight of the black and white um, with the dovetails and eight lemon. To dovetail ribbon, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your ribbon in half, just like that, okay? And you can do a, 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 about four, I wouldn't go more than four pieces, but you can fold it in half and then you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise and you're gonna cut from the folded edge to the outside corner. That's not the greatest one, but 
<laughs> that's, uh, let's just fix that one. Good example, Lore. There you go. So that's how you dovetail. Now, if you're just new to rethink, you're absolutely going to do that because everybody does. <laughs> so don't worry because everybody does it at least a few times when they're first starting out. Okay, so we got our mesh cut, we got our ribbon ribbons cut, and then we're gonna break this bush down. So these are Eva foam. So they're foam, they're not paper or anything, so they can withstand the weather. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip them apart off the main stem and they're just wrapped with a paper thingy around the main stem. All right. And we do have extra of these if you want to buy extra. Now that I have individual stems, I'm going to cut them down even further because they're a little, they're a little long for my liking for what I'm going to be doing. So there is one, two, three, four um, little things there. I don't know what they're called. Little leaf sets, okay? What I'm gonna do is below the second one, I am going to take my, where's my little wire nibbers? My nibbers, and I'm just gonna go down and cut so we have now that one stem made us two. Now the where you just cut, it's pretty good. Just make sure this one isn't uh, loose at the top because um, there's the, the top one has like a little stopper. If it's a little bit loose, you can just bend it, the wire, and then that leaf will not slide off, okay? So you're just gonna cut these down. Like I said, you got two, two packages of these. So we got, we got lots. Okay, I'm gonna throw that to the side. And I, like I said, I'm also wanting to use these black and white pips. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stems of pips. With the design I'm doing right now, we need eight. <laughs> so you can either just skip by one, one spray and just skip one or buy two and save the second one for Halloween <laughs> because you need eight of these. So again, and I, they're only a couple dollars, like literally, these are really cheap and I love, love how pips look. So again, I'm just going to rip one of these off the main stem because I already did the other one. All right, and there we go. So we have eight, eight pips. Okay, well, now, now we can start putting our wreath together. Now this, you we have this lemon spray still, the lemon slice spray. Um, we are going to incorporate this somewhere into this wreath, but at the end. It'll be probably the last thing I do. Alrighty, let's get started. So like I said, we're going to be using the ring board. And on the ring board, it, it really doesn't matter where you start for this design. Hi, everybody. It really doesn't matter where you start. So. If you want to just start, you know, where the number one and the number two is on the ring board, that's a good good enough place of any to um, start loading your board. So what you're where you're gonna go is this is the top, so you can see that there's two extra holes here. Those are called chamfered holes, and we use those for our hanging. We'll put a zip tie at the end to make a hanger, and that's where those that's gonna go. But I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'm gonna go down down the first hole and back up hole one and a half, okay? 
I'm going to skip this row and I'm going to go the next one again, one to one and a half, skip one to one and a half. And you're going to do this all the way around your ring board. Okay, so you're going to have eight zip ties. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Um, you're going to have eight zip ties on your board. Alrighty. Once you got your board loaded, we're going to put our mesh on. We cut 22 pieces or eight pieces at 22 inches. We cut our fabulous green mesh. And we're going to make a ruffle. Okay. Sorry, I didn't finish loading this. I like to get a head start because I like to talk. And because I like to talk, my lives get too long. So the more prep I do, the better off we all are. <laughs> and TikTok cuts you off at, a, at an hour or two. So, okay, so we got our zip ties on. You're gonna take your 22 inch piece and I'm gonna put it curl side down so this would be curl side up, okay? Um, so if you let go of it, it'll roll up. I'm gonna use it curl side down. So if I, it would curl like this way, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it right in front of me, throw my scissors on there, and I am going to just ruffle it straight up the center, which means you're gonna take your uh, ring finger or whatever, pointer finger and your thumb, and pinch, grab some mesh and pinch, pinch, pinch. So you're making like an accordion, almost type fold with your mesh. And you're gonna do this all the way to the end. Now I like to, and there's no, I have no inches or anything. I just kind of grab. I like to make sure when I'm doing the last uh, piece, that the edge here is gonna be facing downwards. So that worked out really well there. Okay, and that is our really pretty ruffle. Now don't let go of the center because if you let go of it, you're gonna to have to do it again. I'm gonna take this, okay, and I'm going to put it right on top of the zip tie just put in the board, right in the middle between the two holes there, okay? There we go, just like that. I'm gonna come around and do up the zip tie till I hear some zipping. And then I like to make sure my ruffle is, you know, it's even. And for this design, I, the very last pleat, I like to fold it down towards the board and it kind of fans the ruffle out towards the outside. Okay, and once you fold that down, give your zip tie a pull. And it makes the inner edge, not that you're gonna see it because we have a sign and everything that's gonna go on there, but it, it makes your ruffle flare out to the, uh, to, the, to the back a little better. Okay, because we don't want, like I said, we're gonna have a sign you won't be able to see really see the center, but um, we, we want to make sure the mesh looks nice. And I like how it looks when you when I do that fold there. Okay, so you're going to put all eight pieces onto your board just like that. Again, you get these strings and everything. You won't see any strings when we're done. No heat sealing, do not wood burn or heat seal because it's just gonna waste your time. This mesh is pretty much just your background. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm ended with it facing down so I can do my ruffle. The ring is 15 inches, 15 and a half inches. You'd think I would know that being the inventor. Yes, it's 15 and a half inches. <laughs> okay, 
Let's put this back on. Now I'm not moving this ruffle out. I'm just kind of layering it, okay? Because we have a lot that we're going to be putting on top. So there's no, you don't, we don't want, we kind of want a kind of a flat, flat ruffle. Okay, and again, that last pleat, and just kind of push, I'm going to push it towards the board and then do the zip tie up. Where'd the little pink thingies go? Oh, here they are. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. Yes, I've been, of course, been sick. I've been sick again. This is like the story of my life these days. Four days in bed. Getting a little tired of it. One. Two. We're just going to keep pinching up. So this is our last piece of mesh. So you can see it fills up your board quite nicely that you don't see the board. So there's no reason, no need to use your whole roll of mesh. It's funny because when I, before the Unique in the Creek boards, it was totally unheard of to make a wreath with just a roll of 10 inch mesh. Now we're making wreaths with half a roll of 10 inch mesh. Okay, so I do it up and I like to make sure again, you know, my bit even. I'm gonna bring that front one down and do it up. Oh, I'm over being sick too. This is just, I'm done. All right, we have all our ruffles on. So we got a really nice wreath base going on here, right? With half a roll of 10 inch mesh. What? I know, crazy, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, and you more expert designers, I, I wouldn't even, usually you can do your ribbon tails and your mesh at the same time with one zip tie. What I'm gonna do today I wouldn't try doing it with just the one zip tie. Use those eight extra zip ties <laughs> that you get in that hundred pack of zip ties. You uh, trust me on that one, okay? Because you'll see in a second why I say that. All right, so it really doesn't matter where we start. What I'm gonna do is take another zip tie and I'm going down and back up the exact same holes I just did, okay? Oh, there it is. So there's my zip tie. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of layering here. Hi, Marianne. We're going to do a kind of an, a layering effect. Okay, so I'm going to need one of my 20 inches of the black and white stripe, one of my lemons, one of my 14 inch ribbon tails that I dovetailed, two of these greens that we cut apart, and I'm one pip. One little thing of pips, okay? So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a cool effect, so trust the process, right guys? Trust the process, okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is get that 14 inch tail the one that we dovetailed. Okay, we're gonna fold that in half. Pinch it where we folded it in, in half. So both, so they're both the same length like that. And I'm gonna put that just on where my, right in the center, just like that, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to take are two pieces of this greenery and I'm going to crisscross we're going to wire this uh, zip tie this in and you can add some glue too but it's really really good practice to you know uh, wires or if you can secure stuff in uh, without 
just glue just because of the heat and everything. I know like there's some wreaths that you can't, but you can with this. All right, and then I'm going to put my pip just right in the center here, just like that, okay? So the, these greens are coming out the side. My pips are in the center, but once everything's zip tied in, we're gonna move stuff around. All right, and now I'm gonna take my lemon ribbon, fold it in half, and put it on top like that. Okay, so I want I want my black and white ribbon coming out like that at the back. My lemon ribbon is kind of going right almost straight across. Okay, and then you're going to take this 16 inch ribbon that we cut. Fold it in half so you can get that half halfway point. Okay, and I like to put mine, I, I'm putting the center where I folded it in half. I'm going to put it on my uh, cutting mat. You can use your ruler as well because I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it one inch over from the center here and then I'm going to do the same thing with this side. It's going one inch over Wait a second. No, and this side will go right where that center is. Yeah, there. So it's layered. We've layered it because we're going to pinch, pinch that right in the center. Okay, so we're making a loop with our 16 inch ribbon. So the seams, we want to flip it over. Okay, and we can do all this once it's in the zip tie. You're going to now take this and put that right on the top and we're going to zip tie all this you find the there it is okay make sure everything's in, everything's in okay and I'm just checking, make sure everything's in before I tighten everything. And we're all good. Let's pull this nice and tight. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of bring that zip zip tie head, you know, to, towards the back. And you're gonna cut that off. Now you can, you can move stuff around. Now we have to do all the other ones. We're gonna do eight like this, but how stinking cute is this? It looks like it's a bow. And we're going to put, move the greens. We're going to have the pips coming out. Move those around because everything's wired. So you can maneuver everything once it's in the zip tie. Pull away. And maneuver everything to where you want it. And then we have our lemon ribbon that we have kind of coming out the side. And there we go. Look how pretty that is, right? We're gonna do eight of these all the way around. And then we're gonna put this in the middle. Isn't that cute? Ta-da, no glue. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on this no glue thing. And then these, we'll figure out where we can put them in a bit. So that's basically what I'm, we're gonna do for all eight. So you're gonna use a total of 16 zip ties. Ooh. <laughs> Miss, I'm missing all the comments, sorry guys. Oops. All right, again. We're gonna do the exact same thing, eight, seven more times. Okay, first layer is our pretend bow end. I'm not, I didn't dovetail these very good. There we go. Okay, fold it in half, 
scrunch it in the middle. I like to flip it up, make sure they're the same length and place it just on the center, just like that. Okay. Next is our greens. So I cut it down. You don't want, you don't want them, the sticky outy things too, too far out. Okay. You want to keep it in the circumference or just a little past the circumference of your actual wreath. If you have it sticking like way out like that, it kind of looks funny when it's finished. Okay. So no sticky outy things. That's what we call them in the, <laughs> in the VIP group. And it's pretty sad that when we say sticky outy things in the VIP group, they actually know what we're talking about. All right. One, two. So I'm just crisscrossing them. So that zip tie is going right in between those two and that's how it's getting zip tied in. All right, and then we're gonna do our lemon. Our, oh, no, I need a pip. We need a pip, don't forget the pip. Now, if you don't get the pips, um, you would just continue on with your uh, with the greens, okay? This is actually, this is an just an add-on that I, because just because I, got really excited that I knew I, that I found out I had black and white pips in the warehouse. Okay, so I'm going to put my lemon one on there. And then we're coming in with that 20 inch piece, which we're going to make our little loop with. Now I like a good one inch fold over. You can which is probably a good practice if you want to do it like this. If you have a glue gun, you can add a little dab of glue in between each and that way it'll stay, it'll stay closed. If you don't have a glue gun, you, you can just fold it and make sure it gets into that zip tie. Um, but if you have a glue gun, if you add a little dab, that way it's not going to open. You can fold it. Make sure what the middle is, and we're going to put that on. Okay, looks like everything's in here, and I'm going to come around and do it up. Pips and ladybugs. Oh, yeah. So once we get everything in, I'm going to just hot glue. I've, I've taken, these are just like foam. They're foam ladybugs, but they're super cute. I'm just going to hot glue one, you know, on the pip stem. Like how cute is that gonna be with lemons? You know, like we could even glue one to the actual lemon to go with the wreath. I just think that little pop of color and, you know, lemons and ladybugs is all summer. So, all right, just kind of giving it a little pull, make sure everything's in there, it's in there. Now, if you use your wire, uh, your zip tie nippers, you can lightly squeeze and pull and use them almost like a needle nose plier and then cut it off. And there we go. We got another one that looks like a bow. So I'm just going to get everything in. I wanted just to show you guys the uh, first one nice and thing, but you can get everything in and then you can go back and um, uh, fix everything once you got it all in. Yeah, and so we always, you know, assume watermelon and ants, right? Why not lemons and ladybugs? Sure, why not? Who says? I'm sure ladybugs want, well, I, I personally, I live in Canada, so lemon trees don't grow here, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure ladybugs maybe like them. I don't know. I just wanted the red, just a touch of red. And we you just layer exactly the same way for each one. So by the time you get halfway around this, you could probably close your eyes and still do it with your eyes closed, right? And if you wanna take one more precaution, 
so nothing comes out. What you can do is after you put your um, greens in, you can slide your glue gun underneath. I'll show you in a sec. I'll do this. I'll do it with it. Okay. All right. Next is lemon. And you guys can do this, this technique literally with any wreath. So if you like the way the little bows go around the wreath, which it's going to be really cute, then do it. Do it. So we got the lemon. Lemon's going to kind of go out to the side. Okay. Okay. I sound like Jackie. Is she on yet? Okay. And you can find all this at uniqueinthecreek.com. <laughs> I love when she does that. Okay, fold over, then you bring this next one to where the center was there. And like I said, it's good practice if you can, just put a teeny tiny dab of glue in between the layers. Actually, let's do that while we have our glue gun right here. I know, right? It's just that teeny tiny pop of yellow or red. This ribbon is so cool. I think I said that already. I can't believe I have to go shopping next month already for next year, spring, summer again. It's just never ending. Did I sound like Jackie? Unique in the Creek. Dot com. No, that wasn't one. The first one I did did was better. Her ears are probably burning. Now I will not do the Friday dance like Michelle because I'm too jiggly. <laughs> and I jiggle all over. So you guys are on your own with the Friday dance. which is tomorrow. Michelle will be doing the Friday dance tomorrow for Flower Friday. Yep, she's making, I know what she's making. So you'll just have to tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do the Dave wave, really? I snorted. So, did you guys all hear we're having a sale starting tomorrow? Everything in the warehouse, except for the kits, are is 20% off. And, Tina, don't kill me. You get a free gift with any, with purchase. So, doesn't matter how much you spend, you're going to get a gift. <laughs> you saw me dance, it was good. <laughs> it's, I jiggle though. <laughs> all right, so I glued all those, so it'll go a little faster for me. I'll just, so you want the, that seam side facing downwards. That one's dry. And then we'll... Fold it over to make sure where the middle is, and then pinch that, put it on top, and come around and do it all up. And we're having a birthday party. Saturday is my birthday. It is my birthday. I was born on Friday the 13th. Go figure, huh? Apparently, a, um, bad luck. I don't know. 
I think I'm good luck. So, we're having a big party. So you'll have to tune in. Oh, that one didn't... I guess I should be a little more... There we go. Pull! There we go. That's better. Um, your daughters, too? Woohoo! So we're having a party Saturday. So we have all of Team Unique designing during the day Saturday. And in between designers, we are going to be giving away prizes. Now, the, the draw will be from the live that was just on. So, to, so that you can, we're going to have quite a few prizes because we have quite a few designers coming on. So we're gonna, in between lives, give away those the prizes. But you have to be, you have to comment on the live to be entered into the draw because that's where we we pull the winners from. So the more you comment, the more chances you have of winning. Sound good? So I'm like giving all kinds of, I'm giving free gifts and prizes and it's my birthday. Aren't you guys lucky? <laughs> and, and we would really appreciate it. I know there's a ton of you that watch, they, you watch me, you watch Team Unique, but you just haven't, Quite hit that follow or subscribe button. I don't know why that is. Anybody tell me why that is? And I can see because the website automatically, the website automatically like sends out an invite to like and or follow a page. So you can, I can go in and actually see the invites. And there is a lot, a lot of you that have not accepted the invite. And I'm just not sure why. We, we do free lives all week long. And all we ask is to help us out because it the algorithms it's all about the algorithms and the more likes and follows you have the better your page does so I'm just not sure besides knocking on everybody's door and saying um hello why did you not follow and subscribe to me? <laughs> but that's all we ask. That's all we ask is that you just kind of like the page. We don't put out spammy content and all that stuff. So, and we don't do all those infomercials and all that stuff that other companies do. But if you do like and follow, you'll get notified when some, one of us goes live. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for. So seriously, no, I would, I'm being serious now. If you, if you haven't, if you would, that would be so, I would be really a great, grateful for that. Especially YouTube. We all know YouTube is really all about the... Um, algorithms for the subscribe. And you won't want to miss out because we have something, a big announcements for May. I'm going to go check, Kelly, if you have, I can check all of you to see if you have done that. 
just know. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we have big thing, a uh, big announcement coming for May. So you you know maybe I'll keep it hidden until you, I don't know. <laughs> but we have we actually are adding two more. What the heck happened to that one? Two more designers to Team Unique. So my friends, you will, if you're bored, just check out Unique in the Creek on Facebook or YouTube because somebody will be live because we're going to be live six days a week. For the six days a week. And all I'm asking for is a little subscribe. <laughs> yes, I only use wired ribbon and I only sell wired ribbon. Yes, wired ribbons where it's at. I don't, the only kind of would be a, um, the only one that's really not wired anymore is a, um, like a satin or a, um, oh geez. What are those ribbons that you can even get like Mickey Mouse and all that stuff in? What's it called? Having a brain fart. Anyways. Um, those are pretty much the only things that are not wired. Oh, see, I'm looking at the screen. All right, we almost got everything on. See, I told you. No, not lice. Grogan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Grogan, that's it. Not Rogan. <laughs> that's what it sounded like I said. Grogan. Rogan is for your hair to grow. Oh God, this is gonna be pretty. Isn't this gonna be pretty? Girl, you you fine. I'm patting myself on the back. Look at you fine. You good. You schmott. are wonderful. You are a beautiful human. I'm looking in a mirror. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> guys, I've been in bed for four days. And we had a website, like, catastrophe. And Tanya ha is, is sick. So it, it's, it, it's been a, it's been a minute. <laughs> I think I really am losing it now. What, Margaret? Mm, I don't know what a direct debit is. So, email. Tina Kelly is the best. I already know that. Me and Tina Kelly, we kicked butt this week. Our Wonderful, positive talk, right, Debbie? So I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started um, a uh, dopamine journey. And the day after I started it, I got sick. Now sick with a kidney infection. So it had nothing to do with, with what I was eating and all that stuff. So, um, however... I lost 10 pounds in four days. So, all you have to do is get a kidney infection and you get, you have no appetite. <laughs> and you lose weight. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do it like that. But, yeah, I'm still eating healthy. I didn't eat much in the four days besides, um, jello and maybe a piece of toast here and there but I drank a lot of food water and cranberry juice so it's wonderful what antibiotics can do it's 
so yeah, catastrophe on the website. Our fear leader, fearless leader, Tanya, sick. Tanya never gets sick. Yeah. So, but we lived to tell the tale. Oh, my fever was up to 102.8 at one point. Yeah, rip roaring. Rip roaring. And I got this migraine thing. I have this migraine thing all of a sudden going on. So I actually had to go to the hospital to get migraine medicine IV. It's this weird thing. It's It feels like lightning bolt in the exact same spot. It's called an ice pick migraine. I know, I know, Marianne, but I, I, I was, I went, I was, I, bleh, I was at the hospital, so, um, yeah, got a good kickstart with antibiotics IV and meds for the migraine, and yeah, it was, it was hell. That's why four days of, of like unconsciousness, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I and, and they diagnosed what I'm getting because I never get migraines. I get sinus headaches not migraines and it's called an ice pick headache or ice pick migraine it's kind of rare go figure I get everything that's rare <laughs> it's happened twice now in the last month and the cause of said ice pick migraine is stress uh, yeah so the doctor's asking Dave, you know, does she have, you know, a, st a stressful job? And I guess he just laughed. Dave laughed. <laughs> yeah. No stressful job. But anyways, I'm on the mend. Anybody else have heard of an ice pick headache? Just the sound of it, it sounds awful, doesn't it? But that's what it feels like. It runs from the front of my forehead to the middle and it stops at my hairline. The weirdest thing ever. And it just attacks and attacks and attacks. So it'll it stay. You, get out, Nancy Dion. You get them? I only had two. I had no idea. We thought I was like having... The first time it happened, we thought I was having a stroke. Like me and Dave were crying in the hospital because I, I thought that was it. I'm got I'm done. Like we were in the lot in the waiting room crying because it was so. Oh God, it was bad. Um. Yeah, and the only way to stop it or just calm it down is, um. Well, they gave me Toradol IV and some migraine medication IV. I don't even know what it's called. I should next time find out what it's called. I hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, sinus headaches. I, can, I get sinus headaches all the time. I can handle those. This is just debilitating. Anyways, yes, so we had ice pick head migraine and we had kidney infection all at the same time. Oh, and the fever. Yes, don't forget the fever. The fever actually is, I don't know if it was worse than anything because I, you know, when you get the chills and you're so freaking cold that the thought of having to get out from the 500 blankets that you're under to go to the bathroom, you have to psych yourself up. Really? Caffeine? Hmm. 
Nobody's mentioned no caffeine to me, but good to know. But I only drink, I only drink two cups of coffee a day in the morning. I don't drink like all through the day or anything. And they're just like the curing coffee. See, TikTok, look. The migraines were so bad that I kept, you guys can't see on that. Well, maybe I can. The migraines were so bad that I was biting my lip, my bottom lip, when it, they would come on and it's all bruised. You can see it underneath my lip there, it's all bruised. <laughs> I was, I was literally going to bite through my skin. Yay! We're done. Well, we're not done. Now it's just the fixy-uppy thingies, and then we have to put our sign on. So I'm going to put, I'm, before I go around and fixing our little little bows and all that stuff, let's get the sign on, because we all know Lori messes all that up. Um, and then has to go and fix everything up again. Hmm. Okay, so we got some pipe cleaners here. We got some cable mounts. This is the little packet where if you don't have a cutting mat, there's your little adhesive ruler that you can, it's very low tack adhesive. You can put it on your, although this one's been on here for a while. And then there's a card in here. So if you do get a kit, and you're like, okay, where's the tutorial? You can scan, and there's also instructions. It, on our web, uh, uh, YouTube channel is where all the replays are housed. Um, so you, if you have a kit, just go under the playlist, wreath kits, and there it be. Okay. Now let's take off the tacky tags don't like the stickers on. You don't want your customers seeing the yucky stickers. Oh, well, thank you, Kelly. YouTube, they're gonna kick me off in two minutes. So I'll post, I'm gonna put a pipe cleaner through here. I'm gonna put a um, cable mount down here. It's adhesive. And we're going to attach it to the board, TikTok. So you will be able to find the replay for the end of it. See, I told you I talk too much. They need to give Lori more than an hour on TikTok. Um, you'll be able to find the replay, like I said, on uh, our YouTube channel. But thanks for everybody who joined us on uh, YouTube. Not, I know I don't. I forget to go live on there, but thanks for joining anyways. And we'll just put, we'll put this down there. Push, 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 push. And then I'm using the, the actual saw hook that's actually on there. You do have two cable mounts in here if you want to, you know, use your pipe cleaner higher or something. But, and we'll give that a twist. And now I'm going to, I'm going to kind of kitty corner it like that, I think. You can put it straight on if you want. That is really easy to do on the boards. So let's find the top. There is our hanging holes right there. Let's put a zip tie in there to make our hanger. Okay, so down, back up. All right, do this up. Made herself a little hanger. All right, so where do I want it? I'm gonna put it like kitty corner. Oh, maybe I will have to use the cable mount. The other cable mount to make our, make it a little higher. So there's the top. Doesn't really matter which way I go. Like, oh no, it, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna 
get our pipe cleaner ends. And I'm just going to move this mesh. And I'll flip the board over so you guys can see where I'm attaching. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. But once you get through the through your holes on the board, just give it a little twist until you get the other one on. This is what I want to be. I think I'm so spunky today because I'm actually almost feeling 100%. Considering like four days ago, well, actually it's five days ago now, I thought I was dying. So maybe that's why I'm just a little bit chipper these days because I'm, you know, I'm not. <laughs> All right, we got the one in. And, oh, I drink plenty of water. Trust me, trust me. There we go. It's opposite. I'm just going the total opposite holes. I will flip it over. They gave me Toradol to take home. God, that stuff makes you feel horrible. I took it once and it's like, no, thank you. All right, so this is where the top is. So I went one, two over. So I'm using the saw thing, but so I'm just using the uh, hole to the outside of the board. Okay, we'll just give it a twist. And then sit the bottom one here. There it goes. There it goes TikTok. Oh, verify to continue. What? Oh, I thought I'd cut me off at right now. An hour, but you just verified to continue. I did not know that. I'm still here, TikTok. Okay, so I'm just kind of pulling this until I can feel a little bit of resistance and give it a twist. Bum, 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 bum. Look how cute this is. And you won't see any of the zip ties or anything like that once you once we start moving things around. I'll probably do it a little bit tighter. I'm just twisting on the back. And we gotta put our lemons in here still. Our lemon slices. Oh, I think I went. Oh, I did go the wrong hole here. Hold on. I wanna go directly diagonal to the one I just put in. Not. I really hate putting the signs. The signs, putting the signs in really drives me bonkers. There, that's better. I put it here and run straight across here and that way it's a perfect diagonal. Yep. Oh, and the ladybugs. Yes. Okay. We want to keep a little bit of this mesh in behind. It's nice to, uh, for the sign. So you don't have the sign so squished. It's kind of lifted with that mesh. All right. We're going to cut off this excess. Maybe you can just bring that pipe cleaners down that way. Look 
how nice and clean the back is. Or I'm going to put these ones back down the hole there. There we go. We got a nice clean back. And now we get to do the fun stuff. We'll just fix her up and add our ladybugs. Look how cute that is. Soup's cute. Some of these. It doesn't look like. There. Just pull a few out. Okay, let's go around and we'll start fixing our little loopy things and our lemon ribbons. Now you do not have to make your, I don't like this one, uh, your wreath like this. You, there's several, several, several other ways. We have hundreds of tutorials. Just go underneath or under the playlist of the ring board because that's what we're using and you can find all kinds of different designs. So you may want to do, you know, yours with a, a, a bow. This one's too tight. You might want to have a bow or something on yours. Is there a rule, Christine? <laughs> I didn't know there was a rule, so I figured I wanted to kind of put mine with lemons and ladybugs. Still haven't figured out where I'm putting the lemons yet, the lemon slices. So we're gonna just kind of, kind of, just kind of move them out, out, out like that. Cut some of this. Oh, I was gonna show you, you can glue. You wanna actually put a little bit of hot glue in. So with your things, just go right by the zip tie and just put a little bit of hot glue, just a little bit of hot glue, you know, like that. And that, that'll that keep that in, plus it's zip tied in, so it's not going to go anywhere. And now you spend probably the time it took to make this fixing everything so it looks super cute. But you may want to do it. I think Jackie, I think Jackie, it wasn't a kit, but I'm pretty sure she did one with this sign that it will be under uh, her playlist. This is cute. Look at that. I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> yeah, in our sunflower kits, you do get you do get a ladybug that you can glue on um, to the the sunflower center. Suggestions on what to do with said lemon pick? Hmm. Huh. I don't want to break it up. It look. I think it looks funny with. I do have quite a few of them here, and there's also these lemon picks that we have in in the warehouse. They have the greenery on it and a lemon. That would have been kind of cute too, wouldn't it? Have. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, these are cute. These are cute. So this, there, the skew is in the uh, description, I believe, for these. Or maybe I forgot them. I probably did forget because I didn't use them. But it's EC8254. Or just type in lemon in the search bar and anything lemon will come up. Thank you, Christine. Right? Spread the love of crafting. 
there's actually a new, uh, I don't know if it's a website or some kind of crafting thing that's being launched. And I was invited to be one of the ambassadors to help launch this said website. So I'm kind of kind of excited to see what that's all about. Oh, thank you, Tina. So on Saturday during the party, um, Dave and I are the last ones at eight o'clock. We will be making the, this one's off a little, um, the watermelon strawberry kit. It's two wreaths, two wreaths in one kit. So he'll be doing, I think the watermelon, I'll be doing the strawberry. It really doesn't matter. Both are going to be done the exact same way. So we will be finishing off the party. Me and him. And we're on at 8 o'clock. Now I know content content is going out already about the birthday party. So you can see the times that uh, if you have a favorite designer and, and Team Unique designer, um, you can see the times on when they're going to be on. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's, let's glue a couple of these lay bugs on. So I'm just gonna kind of glue it onto the pip there. A pip and a leaf to make sure it stays there. Oh my God, look how cute. I don't even know how many of these I have. One, two, three, four. I scrounged up five. So I'll do four, and then I'll put one on the sign. So we'll just kind of go every other. You love it? It is cute, especially if you, lots of people love lemons. I don't know why. It's a very summery fruit. Um, maybe I'll put the next one a little higher up on a pip, so it's kind of like way up here. Probably have to hold it. Where's a clip? Nope. That. I thought that one would work. We don't want it turning. So I'm getting the big guns out. There we go. <laughs> and I'll do one here, and then I'm going to put one on the sign. How about that? Put one on the yeah. I'm gonna pull one of these leaves off. You never know the difference. Put it in the back there. And then the last one. Maybe I'll put it right there. Like I said, they're they're just foam. They're super cute. And there he is. That's my sign crooked. Now you can put some glue under your sign or whatever. I have to fix all that. Uh, it's funny you say that because I messaged them today. Uh, Stephanie, we, we don't know. I know there's been hundreds of emails sent to their head office. All I can say is to keep sending emails. Um, 
I know everybody really, really wants them in the store because it's easy access, but it's not our up to us. So, where's Jackie when I need her? I need to know what to do with these lemons. Yes, you can buy the large boards at Hobby Lobby, if anybody didn't know that. Anyways, this is what we got so far. How cute is that, right? Look. I think our ladybug. There we go. She's right at the end of the pit there. This is super cute. Soup's cute. Tuesday, Christina. Tuesday, it will be back in stock. Ah. Hmm. The dilemma. See, when I put this kit together, I had a totally different vision of how I was going to do it. I was going to make put it together kind of like Jackie put her wreath thingy like this. Now, saying that, I decided today this today I was going to do it this way, and it's like, well, let's just see. Maybe if I use it's in wreathing, the rule of thumb is always good to use odd numbers, but we don't want. Okay, I got to think about this one. don't think I need it. I, I have enough ribbon, so we hardly used any ribbon. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I said uh, it sounded like her again. Okay. Um, we use hardly any of this ribbon, so we have almost a whole roll. We have still lots of green. I got hips. I just need another sign because we still have a half a roll of the mesh. Because I only used half mesh. I can use, and you can use, if you make it like this, you can grab another ring board. And I know we got lots of uh, uh, lemon signs. If you grab another ring board and a lemon sign, you have the fixins to do a whole other wreath. Because we still have pips. And you can do it a different style and put your lemons in. How, you, how about that? I think so. Because I don't think it, this, this style doesn't need it. So when I was thinking I was going to, I was, I bought, bought these to go in behind the bow. So, and have the, the lemon slices coming out of a, a bow. But I decided to go in a different direction. So, lemon slices to the left. All right, everybody, uh, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys, especially I enjoy being alive. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, don't forget, tomorrow's sale. Um, Michelle is live tomorrow for Flower Friday at 11 a.m. Don't miss her her jiggle dance or whatever she calls it, the Friday dance. She's so skinny now, she doesn't jiggle. She's leaving all the jiggling to me. <laughs> oh, Suzanne! Oh, oh, Suzanne and Dana, why are you guys all on TikTok there? I just realized, look at, look what I did, I bit. Suzanne, look, it's all bruised under my lip from biting from the pain. Anyways, all right, guys, we'll see you guys all later. Definitely see you on Saturday. Um, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Bye, TikTok. Lynn, Lynn, I'm still live.